Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of After Fall Insanity. Last time, we managed to acquire the head we needed and the hand we needed to open this door in front of us, blocking us from getting back to see our friend Martian Gottler. To see if we can't figure out what's going on in this facility, and whether or not we can cure it. So where could they be? Have they all mutated? And we still have ammo in our assault rifle, so it doesn't seem prudent to switch to the shotgun just yet. Making sure I'm not missing a note here, just in case they happen to hide one. <clears throat> And not really sure. Not bad at all. That's a good excuse. Feel free to find someone gullible enough to play. Not really sure why seeing this dead guy scares him as he's already killed soldiers himself. Not really sure what that means. Hey look, a mosquito thing. I'm going to assume they're like sentries or Camera drones. I have a sneaking suspicion I might have missed a note. Not entirely sure, though. I do know that I don't want to head back to Marcin's room without finding it. No. And we're just gonna randomly roll. Because I accidentally double tap a button. Can't acquire any ammo, though we do need some. And other than that, this room up here is completely pointless. Here's the note we needed. And as I've said in the past, pause if you need to read it. That seems like the way they want us to go. So let's give up here a try. So this looks just as suspicious. If the door locks behind me, I'll know I've made a terrible mistake. It did not. Ah, but we do have a friend. Well, let's teach him a lesson. That strange animation. We haven't seen this one in a little while. Or we won't. There we go. I haven't seen him stomp somebody in a bit. Luckily, they do not make you drop your weapon. It looks like we're getting close to Martian's room. Is something that I don't want to do without exploring that other direction. If I'm not mistaken, this will lead me to Martian's room. Well, Explanation, Tokai. Turn yourself in to the nearest patrol. They will escort you to the upper level. Then we will have a chance to talk. That is, if I don't have you executed on the spot. What are you babbling about? I was on the second sub level as you ordered me. 
these lunatics. It wasn't natural or accidental. I saw someone. Everyone's dead now. Even Marchi. It must have been this man I saw. The saboteur, Tokai, is only a figment of your imagination. You, on the other hand. I haven't done anything wrong, Colonel. He's framing me. You, you're framing me. How dare you speak to me like that after all I have done for you, Tokai. And more importantly, after all that you have done. How dare you? Albert. Albert? How did you... The Colonel sent me down to repair the vents, but forgot to mention it's a one-way ticket to hell. So I've locked myself in my office on the third sub-level, and I've been trying to restore all the systems ever since. But everything's screwed around here. I got the comms back up a few minutes ago. I also accidentally intercepted that lovely chat between you and the Colonel. Oh, shit. What? Son of a... Damn, Al, with the whole security team after you, apprehension is only a matter of time. You have to leave the shelter. That's rich. You know perfectly well that everything outside the shelter is obliterated and glowing with radiation. I wouldn't be so soon. I came across information about another shelter some time ago. It's called Mist. And you're telling me now? All these years we've been thinking that Glory was the only shelter that survived the war? Well, the game has just sent us on, well, a rather sudden change of pace. It's okay that I didn't get to explore that other section as I didn't miss any of the notes. This was the next one I was to acquire. It's just firearm information, nothing any of any importance really. Fortunately, our friend killed himself. Don't really understand why. Here's another note. He does have a new weapon for us, though, which I will pick up. The Raging Bull Revolver. Seems a little messed up that Tokai would just pick up the weapon his friend used to kill himself, but Tokai's pretty weird. Like, we can only assume that that last message was speaking of the Raging Bull that we now hold. It'll be ours now. For a little while, at least. There's not much ammo in it. And this is where... Well, we met Martian in the dream. The room's pretty empty now, though. And as I was saying before, we're now sent on a very strange mission. The game quickly hops from, well, the infection to, oh look, there's another shelter. 
that we've never mentioned. We're also left to assume that that figure shadowed on the monitor is Eric. As there really are no other... Are, there are no other alternatives at this moment in time. Though his apartment looks, well... Pretty unmistakably messed up. And there's a lot of blood. I guess it's just not his blood. But I believe now we get to go that direction I wanted to head anyway. Hopefully we don't have any new friends to mess with us. And finally, Tokai remembers that, oh right, I have a girlfriend named Carolina. I guess I should probably try and help her. And this is where I wanted to head originally. I believe this door would have been locked before we went to Martian's room. And look, we've already found another note. Now they're just throwing them at us. Hmm. Now the colonel seems to be saying that he's only ever helped Tokai. And Tokai's reaction is oh, just like his other reactions during the game, rather strange. Right from the get-go, the game doesn't seem to be trying very hard to get us to trust Tokai. And it's important that we realize this as early as possible. Not so much for the developer's intentions, but to put something in this game in perspective. I won't discuss that much now. We will find out, though. And now they want me to hack the computer. Same hacking as always, just more annoying. Like I said before, though, luckily they do checkpoint after a certain point so that you're not beating your head up against a brick wall. Eventually you'll get through it. Really is something out this is another note you can't possibly miss, and you absolutely have to check that one yourself. I'm sorry, completely missed that. But it was somebody trying to attack Carolina. That information that scrolled off the screen very quickly was information on Fist. Let's, uh... Just in case it went way too quickly for you to be able to read. I will hover over it really quickly. Well, it just skipped it for some reason. There we go. Leave that up for just a second. Should be good enough. Now we have but one goal. To save Carolina. Someone who... Tokai has really not been concerned with for the entire game. I hate to rag on this game so much, but it tends to just shove you at goals without giving you much reason to care. And once we get up here, I'm going to drop the pickaxe and show you what the Raging Bull is good for. It would stop moving. Yep. One shot is usually good enough to either put someone in a coup de grace state or kill them wasn't a headshot, so that's probably why it didn't kill him immediately. We'll check back here for ammo. Just in case it decides to be nice, and it didn't. We need a 
chase after Carolina. And we can more or less just drop our our pickaxe and move straight on to gun combat. Which is good for us. As a lot of the melee combat just gets stale way too quickly. Oh, we'll let our friends fight it out. But as you can tell, he's not too concerned with uh, the enemy beating at his back, and he's more concerned with shooting me. He'll have more ammo for our gun as he glitches out. Yeah, soldiers will tend to just focus on us as opposed to the enemies around them. And this section that should feel really tense just kind of falls flat due to how powerful guns are in this game. And these are, well, a little more powerful form of the Republic soldiers we've been fighting. Their guns will rip you to shreds in moments. Albert, where were you? What the hell happened? I heard some strange noises and, and, and then the contamination. There's really no time. Most of the people here have gone insane. They attack anyone they see. Why are they? I don't know. I went through the second sub-level and everyone there is either crazy or dead. I saw a man there. He must be the one who caused all this. That's what I heard from Marchin. He said he needs to talk to you about it. Marchin, he's dead. Oh my god, how? I told you, now's not the time. Let's head to the third sub-level. Why? Arex down there. We need to find him and get out of this shithole. Well, aside from how stupid shooting the console to open the door was, we really have no choice but to move forward. It seems like the developers really wanted Pokai to seem like your typical action hero. But he ends up coming off as an incredibly unrelatable character. And once again, this really tense moment with all of this really, really building music kind of falls apart as you wait for Carolina to catch up with you. We've lost all of our weapons again, but they do give us our Raging Bull. Now, rather than fight this fight, I am going to end this video here. I don't want to go too over time, and this will take a while. So join me next time as we take out these enemies on the elevator.